a painful controversy among Kuwait and the Philippines above the treat of national workers is set to end in the signature of a new treaty. Philippine CEO Rodrigo Duterte had prohibited workers traveling to Kuwait among concoction of misuse. Social indignation accompanied the assassination of a youthful chambermaid whose flesh was found in a Kuwait flat deep freezer in February. The resultant tactful role leading in the deportation of an envoy and the detention of legation employees. On 260,000 Philippine countrymen dwell and job in Kuwait, largest as national service staff. A backup of the treaty seen by AFP news story agent according to reports includes the order for workers to hold their passports and portable phones that are regularly seized by patronage in Kuwait and some Bay State. Workers would be guarantee meal, habitation, clothes and public health insurance coverage and occupation contracts would be renovated just in adoption of Philippine officials, AFP told. Talk following the signature of the new treaty on Friday. Philippine officials told a new envoy would be equipped to Kuwait and would counsel CEO Duter to raise his ban on workers traveling to the nation. I believe the meltdown is above. We will go on in the duplex relations and we will restart regular bonds in Kuwait, and formal said AFP. Stories of misuse, yet, stay overall. The die of Joanna Demophilis, a 29-year-old chambermaid, was one reason of the tactful meltdown. She was found corpse in a deep freezer in her tenant's flat in February, more than rather than a year following she was informed lacking, in signs of torment. Her patronage, a marital pair, were found following and wide searching aided by Interpol. Kuwait named the actions contraband and a infringement of its laws, and detained employees of the Philippine legation. It told it would pursue downward such accountable and put them on test. It as well withdrawn its own envoy to the Philippines, that the Philippines just found while it called him to outcry versus the treat of its countrymen in Kuwait.